So we are already done with ABO blood grouping. Now it's the turn for RH blood grouping. Both types of blood grouping are important. Why are they important? Because at the time of blood transfusion, both ABO system of blood grouping and RH system of blood grouping are considered while matching the blood for the patient. Okay, so let's begin. RH blood grouping. We are already done with ABO blood grouping where we saw the four types of blood A type, B type, AB type and O type. Under RH blood group, we are going to see or study blood types the same way we did with ABO blood grouping. So first we are going to see blood types, then the diagram of those blood types, then the antigen present in those blood types, then antibodies present in the plasma of those blood types. And finally, I'm going to show you a few examples. Just like in case of ABO system of blood grouping, antigen A and antigen B were present. Just like that, in RS system of blood grouping, antigen RH or RH factor is present. If RH factor is found, then the type of blood is RH positive. But if the RH factor is not found, then the type of blood is RH negative. Let me show you with the help of a diagram. Suppose there's a person with blood type RH positive. Then in that person, the RBC of that person contains the RH factor or RH antigen on the surface of it. So which antigen is present? RH antigen is present. Since RH antigen is present in the blood of that person or in the blood of person with blood type RH positive, the immune system of that person recognizes RH antigen. And since the immune system recognizes RH antigen, there are no antibodies against RH. So there are no antibodies against RH antigen. Second is RH negative. In RH negative type of blood, on the surface of the red blood cell, there is no RH antigen present. That is, the RH antigen is absent. Since the person with RS negative blood type does not contain RH antigen on the surface of the R red blood cell. The immune system of that person or the person with RS negative blood type does not recognize RH antigen since it's not present there to be recognized. And since the immune system does not recognize the RH antigen due to the absence of RH antigen, there are missiles prepared in the body against RS antigen and these missiles are anti-RH antibodies. Let me show you examples of both. Let's suppose here's an RBC. On the surface of this RBC, there's your antigen A. Along with antigen A, there's RH factor or RH antigen as well. Since on the surface of the RBC, there's antigen A, the type of blood is A. And since there's the presence of RH antigen as well, the type of blood is A positive. A denotes the presence of antigen A, while the positive sign denotes the presence of RH factor. Similarly, in this particular RBC, on the surface, there's your B antigen, but the RH antigen or the RH factor is not present. Then, which type of blood is it? Since there's the presence of B antigen, the type of blood is B. But, since RH antigen is absent, it's B minus. So, B denotes the presence of B antigen, while the minus denotes the absence of RH antigen. With this, now you have understood the types of blood on the basis of presence or absence of RH antigen. That's your RH positive blood and RH negative blood. RH positive blood can receive blood from RH positive 
because they are like or of the same plot group as well as rs negative because rs positive plot doesn't have any antibodies or missiles to attack on the other hand rs positive blood can be given to rs positive because they are like or of the same blood group but rs positive blood can't be given to rs negative blood due to the presence of rh antigen on the surface which can get attacked by anti rh antibodies present in the plasma of rs negative blood and cause agglutination which can lead to death similarly rh negative blood can receive blood from rh negative because both of them are like or of the same blood group but rh negative blood can't receive blood from rh positive due to the presence of anti rh antibodies that can attack the antigen rh present on the rbc of rh positive blood rh negative blood on the other hand can donate itself to rh negative because both of them are of the same blood type or they are like as well as rh positive because there's no presence of rh antigen on the surface of rh negative blood that means there's no one to be attacked that's why so we are done with the types of blood on the basis of rh factor now let's look at two very important terms and they are universal recipient and universal donor universal recipient is that blood type that can receive blood from any other blood types while on the other hand universal donor is that blood type that can donate blood to any other blood types now use your common sense for a blood type to be universal recipient it has to be able to receive blood from all other types for it to receive blood from all other types it must not have missiles prepared against any of those on any of them for it to not have missiles prepared against any of them it must contain all the antigens and that's only when the immune system of the person with universal recipient recipient blood can recognize all the antigen so that there's no missiles to attack or launch and that's your which blood group and that's your a b positive why cause on the surface of the red blood cell of the person with ab positive blood you can find a antigen b antigen as well as rh antigen that's why a b positive let's look at the antigens found on the surface of universal recipient so there's your antigen a antigen b and rh antigen let's look at the missiles or the antibodies since the blood contains all three antigens there are no missiles present because the immune system of the person with this blood recognizes all three antigens so it can receive blood from it can receive blood from a positive cause it recognizes a as well as rh a positive a negative even if rh is not present it still recognizes a similarly b positive b negative a b positive a b negative o positive o negative why okay so universal recipient universal recipient is that blood group that can receive blood from all other blood groups for this blood group to receive blood from all other blood groups it must recognize the antigens present in all other blood groups and in total there are three antigens to be recognized that is a antigen b antigen and rh antigen and ab positive blood has all three of them or 
the immune system of the person with AB positive blood recognizes all three antigens. Since, I repeat, since the immune system recognizes all three antigens, the body does not contain an, any antibodies against these antigens. Since there are no missiles to attack these antigens, agglutination can't take place. And that's the reason why AB positive can receive blood from any one of these blood groups. Because it doesn't matter which of these blood groups you supply to this person. Because agglutination is not going to take place. Because there are no missiles to be launched against them. I hope you get it now. While on the other hand, it can donate to only AB positive. Why? Because it can donate to only those that's not going to cause agglutination. And since it contains all three antigens, except AB positive blood type, all of them are in absence of one of these three antigens. Since they are in absence of one of these three antigens, their plasma contains antibodies against one of these three antigens. At least one of these three antigens. And even the presence of antibodies against one type of antigen against any one of these three can cause agglutination and blood mismatching. That's why AB positive can only be donated to AB positive. But a person with AB positive doesn't have any problem because it can receive from anyone else. Why search for another AB positive? Okay, universal donor. So universal donor, on the other hand, is that blood group that can be donated to any other blood groups. Now use your common sense again. For a blood to be donated to any other blood groups, that blood must not contain any antigen because other blood groups has antibodies or missiles in them to attack the transfused blood. And if this particular blood group does not contain any antigen, no matter to whom you are giving the blood, no matter to which blood group you are donating it to, it's not going to harm anyone. Because there's no one to harm in the first place. Let me show you. So the universal donor is O negative. So here's the RBC. Since on the surface of RBC, there's no A antigen and there's no B antigen, the type of blood is O. And since there's no RS factor as well, the type of blood is O negative. Antigens. None. Antibodies. Against all of them. Because the immune system does not recognize any antigen. Due to the absence of any anti all antigens. So there's your anti-A antibody. Anti-B antibody. And anti-RH antibody. Receive from. O negative blood can receive blood from only O negative because every other blood types except O negative contains one out of at least one out of these three antigens and O negative blood has missiles against all three antigens. So the presence of even one out of these three antigens can lead to agglutination due to these missiles present in the plasma of the person with universal donor type blood. So, it can receive blood from only O negative. While it can donate blood to A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, AB positive, AB negative, O positive, O negative. Whew. It can donate blood to all other types. That's why it's called the universal donor. Why can it be donated to all other types? O negative blood can be donated to all these blood types. And here's the reason why. All these blood types, except AB positive, they contain antibodies. A positive contains antigen A and RH antigen. So the remaining antigen is B. 
since the plot doesn't have B antigen, the immune system does not recognize B antigen. So the immune system has anti-B antibodies prepared. Similarly, in A negative, it has anti-B antibodies and anti-RS antibodies. In B positive, there's your anti-AR antibodies. In B negative, there's your anti-A antibodies and anti-RS antibodies. In AB positive, there are no antibodies. In AB negative, there's your anti-RS antibodies. In O positive, there's your anti-A antibodies, anti-B antibodies. In O negative, there's your anti-A antibodies, anti-B antibodies and anti-RS antibodies. So th with this, you come to conclusion that all these blood groups, they somehow have antibodies in them, except AB positive. And these antibodies, they are going to attack the antigens present on the surface of the RBC. Since there's no antigen on the surface of this O negative blood, there's no one to be attacked. Array, they have antibodies, but where are they going to attack if there are no antigens present? And that's exactly why donating O negative blood to any one of them doesn't will bring no agglutination. And that is why O negative is your universal donor. With this, I hope you have understood the concept of RH blood group, not only RH blood group, ABO system of blood grouping, RS system of blood grouping. In the next video, I'll be coming up with RH incompatibility. With that, bye!